Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video. It's only been less than 24 hours since the last video I made. So now it's time for Milane's turn to go all Kiawawa. And I don't know, the costume just looks very strange on her because she's so slender compared to Makina. So <laughs> Milane fans, uh, let me know your thoughts on the costume. Uh, it's pretty much the same feeling I have when Ranka had to put on Reina's costume in her Sekan Hiko colours. It would have been better if it was just regular Rei Rei colours. I don't know, it's just strange. So uh, let's do the usual stuff first, let's break down the episode plate uh, details and see how it is. So yeah, no special notes attached to the episode plate, that, that, that doesn't mean it's the end of the world, but sadly it is one of those episode plates where only Milane or rather the um, featured diva can actually use this episode plate. So technically, um, if you've not um, had Milane improve her diva stats uh, through the diva improvement events or even her costumes, um, you know, regarding the Kalala rank upgrades um, or even, you know, her proficiency levels, her affection levels, that kind of stuff. The things that you normally do to improve a diva's personal stats um, that will affect the life, high scores and all these kinds of things. So if you've not been doing that and Milane isn't your waifu, I think this episode played is safe to say um, you can stay away from it. Um, but if your Milane waifu, she is technically my third waifu in the Macross franchise so it would be nice to attain this episode plate personally so total score 3767 it's pretty okay um, just like Basara's um, it focuses on the soul factor because that's what the current event song requires for a good high score charm pretty much the same as Basara's episode plate as well and voice once again imitating the previous exclusive event episode plate. Center skill so unit so is boosted by 90% so it's almost identical to Basara's just let's see whether it has the better active skill and yeah it does so it comes with the high score achieving active skill for five seconds you boost your score by 70% up of course this is not the best active skill we've seen. Um, older plates come with the 10 second duration and 100% boost. So if you don't have any 7 star Macross 7 episode plates, I guess this will do well um, for attaining high score for this event as well. So life skill, so Utahime score and damage, so because it is uh, an episode plate that's exclusive to Milane only, um, so yeah, it does have this life skill, but it's a score and damage though. So it gives a hint to what kind of episode plates you should be using for this current event um, to try and get a very good high score. Maybe you're still trying to attain that 10 million high score for the summer ticket event, which is technically going to end pretty soon. <laughs> so if you guys have not been getting down to it like me, uh, probably should be using some... Um, energy restoration items to try and attain you know that 10 million high score 10 times to gain those last 20 tickets uh, so you can exchange for a free 6 star episode plate so yeah so work hard at it so yeah anyways it boosts 120% um, in score of course score and damage usually means your life is being depleted at the same time so if you're not very good with the extreme version of the song, which is technically kind of a bit tricky to handle, but not too complicated because it doesn't have those, you know, double notes on the left or right. Um, so technically, the song can be handled, you know, just that your reaction time is probably need needed to improve uh, if you're struggling with this. Anyway, um, with all of that said, like I said, if you're not a Melane fan, you might want to stay clear. But of course, the costume is technically locked behind this gacha wall. 
because you can't attain points anywhere else for this costume except through this gacha at this point of time so unless you don't mind waiting maybe for Milane's birthday or you know, somehow a reissue gacha comes around so let's do this we're gonna do all the free pulls once again um, we'll start off with the costume points gacha hopefully the luck from yesterday is still around all right we do get somewhat of a quick load okay we do get Valkyries so that's nice shows that today's luck is still not too horrible from yesterday's awesomeness all right so we do get a red box not too bad it's, it's okay following the trend from yesterday oh it's new okay moving along let's see what we get from the free pools okay we'll still clear off the main gacha first let's do the free daily pool it's currently the afternoon session all right no valkyries for this that's fine should be a silver box all the way through yep there it is so we're gonna skip all this Okay, so it's a still pretty mediocre rarity episode play. It seems like it's imitating yesterday's gacha video. <laughs> I hope I get another 6 star. Alright, so let's do the Super Dimension gacha. Um, just to see how the luck really is. we we'll just do a single template pool. Oh wow, we're still getting loads. Hmm. Seems like we're getting some new episode plates, or maybe some older episode plates are evolving. Okay, at least the Valkyrie animation is starting to divert from yesterday's trend. Oh wow, we still managed to get a rainbow box. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Hmm. Seems like Min Mei is getting a lot of love from this pool. Yeah, it's a real Min Mei love gacha pool. Interesting. Okay. So, should be evolving this plane. That's why we got that load bar. Yep. Alright, let's take a look at this episode play. I can't recall how fantastic this one is. Score and damage. Okay. No special notes, uh, and it's not fully powered up yet, that's why we don't see its full total score percentage. Uh, uh, it's fine, I think it's okay. Score and damage, hmm, might help out in the future. Alright, so with all of that done, let's go ahead and dive into the main featured gacha today. Let's do that single free pool. Hope we can get another six star episode plate out of this. <laughs> That's unlikely though. Alright. Oh wow. Okay, so it seems today's trend is just a single Valkyrie. To be honest, I'm actually expecting this video to be pretty dry. So. Okay. It's a pretty rare common episode plate. So that's okay. Hopefully the template pool now will provide us with something nice. There we go. So surprisingly enough, I survived through the 4th anniversary of Ultra Cross without spending any physical cash. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. It's never happened before in all the four years I've been playing. Okay, we do get a red box. Ooh, lots of red boxes. No evolution, that's fine. At least we get some Milane love right here. Okay. All the Macross 7 plates are starting to pop up with a bit of Frontier. Here's the second red box. No evolution as well. I'm not sure if any of these are actually the exclusive plates with the costume points. 
but hmm. I hope to see that banner appear. Oh, this one's gonna evolve. Yeah! Oh! We got it! <laughs> I was hoping for the plate to further evolve, but you know, getting the exclusive plate itself, that's that's more than enough for me. I mean, after all, Milate is kind of my third favorite uh, Macross Diva. So that's fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy. So yeah, it's no six star episode plate, but it is a featured episode plate, which is gonna help out with the bonus percentage and of course attaining high score. Um, for blue series songs that probably that uses the soul factor to gain high score. I guess I can probably try tackling my soul for you um, and try and get a 10 million high score. After all, it is an easier song. So, okay, let's not end it here. I technically do have the bingo mission tickets that need to pull as well and they're gonna expire well, in the mid of September. So I can just use one single copy to make things a little bit more lively on this video. So let's do this. Let's see what kind of fantastic episode plate we will get. Hmm. Here we go. Will we get the full 5 Valkyrie? Wow! We get the maximum Valkyrie animation. Uh, 5 Valkyries plus a golden orb. That's fantastic. That's probably the best animation you can get. Ooh! Okay, if I recall, this episode plate of Rei is actually pretty good. And I do have duplicates, so we're gonna unlock secret boards. So let's take a look at the stats. Okay, so the total score isn't exactly the best. It's due to its old um, stats. I mean, like, episode plates from back in the day. That's probably the kind of average total score you will see on the episode plate. Um, so it does focus on the voice factor, even though it's a charm episode plate. <laughs> um, score repeatability with the score note, yes, and that's why I remember this episode plate was pretty good, even though the total score is not fantastic. You know, but all episode plates like this still are able to do something. Um, even if you Kirafy them, technically you shouldn't be Kirafying such episode plates anymore since there are better stats on the newer episode plates in this generation of Ultra Macross. But still, this episode plate can probably do you some justice if you have nothing else in your collection that is better than this. So still, a pretty good pull out of the um, guaranteed 5 star bingo gacha. So yeah guys! As always, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did watch through the entire thing, let me know in the comment section down below and of course by leaving a like to this video. And subscribe if you guys have not subscribed yet. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of you who have yet to subscribe because it's in the analytics of my videos. That's like 80 plus percent of you who are watching my videos who are not subscribed, which is pretty strange. <laughs> okay, anyway guys, I'm gonna head off to work and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Bye!